welcome back everybody so this is the cauldron this is what we got going on right now uh, this thing is very time consuming but I think it's gonna be worth it in the end uh, I'm not too happy with it right now as you can see it's not it doesn't just it's not very round but I have a solution for that I also put another pool noodle on top and I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna do here soon but uh, I'm just gonna run you through real quick I have the camera mobile right now because I want to show you something but uh, what we're gonna do is I have the wiper motor right here I put the bracket on the wiper motor I've tested the wires this is my uh, this is my electrical box or my power outlet and I have some wood so I already have this mounted on some wood I don't have any wires on it yet uh, and what it's gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna put it in here like so and put this directly in the center and then I'm going to take these two little blocks right here and they are going to go in here like this. All right, that's what it's going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is I have this on top of plywood. So there's a piece here. This is half inch and there's another piece here. I kind of doubled it up and what the plan is going to be is I'm going to screw from the bottom side up to the top so that everything stays in there stable and so that the wiper motor stays in there as well. So that's gonna be the goal. And then I know this platform looks ugly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these lights along with these bottles, which I'm gonna show you. And then we're gonna put the lights in here and we're gonna use the uh, great stuff. And then we're gonna paint it. And then after we do that, we're going to put the final touches on making this as round as possible and then we're going to paint that and then do the finishing touches so i'm going to make this one video but it's going to go over the course of a couple days all right so here we go i already gave you the basics on the lowdown what we're going to do we got the wiper motor in there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some construction screws i'm going to mount it down after i do that i'm going to take these plastic bottles i'm going to cut them in half and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to place them strategically around here and that's gonna allow me to put some lights under it so it's not completely encased in great stuff and then once I get that done uh, I'm gonna put the lights down and I'm probably just gonna staple the lights to the board without exposing any wires I'll put the great stuff down and then we'll let it dry <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Brad back with Halloween Hotel and we're on part three of the Witch's Cauldron. I thought this was only going to take one part to do. This thing's completely whooping my butt right now. However, I think it's going to come out pretty good. I think it's going to look okay, especially for my standards, and I think it's going to be functional. However, we haven't gotten to the mechanism yet. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to just explain to you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the work without fast forward or anything. I don't think anybody really wants to see any of that stuff. And then I'm just going to keep popping back in, in and out. And I'm going to let you know exactly what we're going to be doing on the next step until this thing is completely done. I'm probably going to videotape this over the next, I don't know, three or four days. Hopefully I can get this thing done because I have so many projects I want to just get done at this point. Like I have a, a gel facade I'm trying to do out of foam, but I refuse to go buy anything for this gel facade until I get this witch's cauldron done. I can make the creep later. I'm probably just gonna work on the creep piece by piece, but because this is such a big project with a wiper motor in it, I just wanna get it to where the cauldron is done. I have the stick coming out so I can see that the stick is gonna be functional and not hit anything. And then I'm gonna call it a wrap for the witch's uh, cottage until Halloween time, and then we'll put the finishing touches on it, which you will definitely get a video at that time. So what we did, I got the wiper motor from Monster Guts. I have it wire, wired right here. I have it going. In, I have it going into a uh, power box, and everything operates as should. I had adjusted the little white adjustment knob right here. I know it's hard to see. There's adjustment knob right here, and I have it going as slow as possible. I don't want it to go real fast. So what I need to do is I need to get the wiper motor installed 
inside the witch's cauldron. And inside, remember, we started out with a dollar store laundry basket. And now we have this. I'm pretty impressed with this so far. But there is one thing that uh, doesn't sit with me right as of right now. And that is that this thing is not completely 100% round. I know where I messed up. It's when I put the cardboard cutouts out. I should have had them a little... Um, I should have had them not as, as wide. Should have had them a little thinner. As you can see by this right here, I added another pool noodle up top. So I've had to do a lot of work all because of the cardboard that I put in this. It was too thick. We learned from our mistakes. I think this is going to be just fine. After I get the wiper motor in, here's what's going to happen. I got these little 20-ounce caps or bottles. I have them right here. I'm going to set them sporadically all over my base right here. And on my base, I have just, I got a two, a two foot by four foot piece of plywood. I cut about 18 to 20 inches off and I doubled it up right here in the center where the cauldron is going to sit. And then I drove construction screws straight up through because I put two by fours down the center of this. And there's a bracket in there as well that actually is going to hold the wiper motor and it's all in there. When this is all said and done, I get the mechanism going, I'll show you exactly what's in there. But after I get the wiper motor mounted, the goal is going to be, I'm going to use these cups, I'm going to put them down here, I'm going to lay probably, this is, this is a lot of lights right here. Um, I'm going to lay all the lights in there and I'm sure you've seen on Pinterest before where we just lay the lights down, put some great stuff, we're going to let it swell up, we're going to let it dry, we're going to paint it, we're going to leave enough of the cord out to where we can plug it in and then we're gonna plug it in and see how much light we can get through it. Hence the reason why we have these bottles. So these bottles will allow for the great stuff to not be so thick in certain areas. When I put these on here, I wanna make sure that there's an abundance of lights in there. There will be lights throughout the entire platform on the bottom, but I have about eight of these and I'm gonna stick as many lights as I can in here so it will have bright spots. Also, as soon as I lay the great stuff down, I'm gonna to go to the back in the woods. I'm gonna grab some sticks, I'm gonna throw some sticks in there. And then when I paint, I think I'm going to paint it by hand, but I just don't know yet because regular house paint is a lot thicker than spray paint and it may not light up as well as I want it to. So we'll see. So again, just to recap, this whole base is going to be great stuff. I have my new can there and I have an old can up there. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Um, and I'm going to tack the lights down. I'm going to spray the great stuff. I'm going to let it dry. Once it's dry, before I even paint it, I'm going to mix up one more batch of paper clay and I'm going to go around this and I'm going to even this out as much as I can to make it more round than it already is. That way, I'm not as disappointed on how uneven it truly is. I know it's a witch's cauldron. When you think about witches, you think way, 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 way back in the day. And back then, when they, when they were casting iron and they were making witches' cauldrons, if they really made them back then, but what they considered to be a cauldron, I'm sure they weren't completely round. So I don't really care too much about that, but I want it to look kind of genuine. So I gotta get that done. And then once that's done, I can put the base coat on everything, get it black, I can rust it up, whatever I wanna do. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some patina on it, whatever I need to do to get this thing where it needs to be. But it needs to happen quickly. So I'm gonna let you go. I'll be back the next time I turn on the video camera. Hopefully I'll have a smile on my face because this next part is gonna, what makes, this is gonna be what makes or breaks this entire project if I mess it up. So stay tuned and we'll see you back in a couple minutes. All right, well, mid-break, this is our progress so far. But the main reason I'm mid-breaking here is uh, I learned a valuable lesson today. From now on, I'm not gonna try to save any more money on great stuff because I had a can that I had some issues with and I literally dropped it and look at my freaking garage. This is after I cleaned it up. I could literally punch somebody right now. Look at all this. Now I wet the floor down and this is what's left. I think mid going through this, midway through, I realized I probably should have just let it dry, but I tried to wipe it off with paper bags. Look at this crap. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, I'm so upset right now. So I'm done for tonight. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to turn the fan on the floor. The floor will be easy because as I was uh, exfoliating my leg hairs off, I literally, my whole leg is red because it was covered. Uh, I'm going to let this dry and hit it with a sander. So the floor I'm not worried about, but that I'll probably have to use some acetone or something. But this is just, 
so typical of this cauldron so far kicking my butt and now it's officially kicked my ass so I hope it's happy with itself uh, this is the progress is where we got we got some lights sticking out I'm not too worried about it we'll paint them black but this this is where we're at so I figure I should, might as well just show you in here while we're at it too and that's the inside so all right more to come note to self done reusing cans of great stuff one and done from here on out see you guys soon all right welcome back once again we have the crisis has been diverted with the floor if you see we got it up i still got some up here but i'm going to take care of that tomorrow i found out sandpaper on a orbital sander works out pretty well and it actually came out really well uh, all this stuff over here i'm going to hit it with another piece of sandpaper tomorrow but I did all that one piece of sandpaper. So, back to what we need to get done here. This is the mechanism, this is the motor. Uh, this is what we're gonna have to get the witch's broom or the, the stick inside the uh, cauldron to move. So basically what I did, I'm nowhere near an electrician, but Monster Guts makes stuff real easy. As I said in previous tutorials, we got our power supply right here. I got like 10 of them for like 25 bucks. I have my wiper motor. I used a couple terminals couple things of terminals like so and then I had this laying around I found it by accident this is a, a speed controller so basically when you flip the speed controller over it tells you exactly on the back where it goes where so my power is this and obviously the motor is right here so I just splice everything in negative and positive from the motor and negative and positive uh, to the power source I plug it into the speed controller and it wouldn't be mine if it um, wasn't brand new out of the package Brand new, out of the package, missing stuff. Of course, it was missing this screw right here. So this is my fix to everything, I don't really care. So this is just gonna be the fix for now. Uh, I have power going to it, because I have the red light right here, and then I have the red light on my prop controller, or my uh, my speed controller. So, it actually, it's on right now, if you see. There, I just turned it off. And like I said, we have a knob right here. So I just turn it on, and I can control the speed. I absolutely love this speed controller. I think I paid four bucks for it shipped from eBay. And uh, I think it was even shipped from the US, it was in China. So there's that, we got this part done. Only thing I has left to do, I'm gonna unplug this. You can see it comes with these two for the male, female ends. Uh, the only thing left to do is to put the bracket on there. Now, these are nice because it is uh, recessed. So when I put it down on here, it's going to pinch it. It's going to pinch it when it goes down on here. So the tighter I push this down, the more this is not going to strip out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this which is what I used to uh, get some stuff done here in the garage when I moved in. I'm gonna cut this in half, I'm gonna double it up, and I'm gonna use this doubled up right here. I'm gonna use it to be my mechanism that spins inside, because I don't have a lot of clearance inside of the cauldron, so I think this will be enough. And if I put the stick at a slant, it will probably move a lot more. One last thing before we go, this is where we're at with the cauldron itself. I don't know how well you can see it, when I painted it, oh, you can't see it at all. But I have not plugged it in yet, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared. I don't know how this is gonna work out. So I have everything set up to plug right in, and let's see what happens here. I know some light's gonna come out, it's just how it's gonna be, so I understand that. Let me get my life together here. Uh, so we, we wouldn't have it any other way if the camera didn't shut off when I was trying to do all this. So here we go, this is the burning coals. The witch is gonna stand back here, so I don't really care about too much back here, but I did wrap the lights around. And most of the lights are gonna be up here up front. I'm pretty happy with this. This is, this is pretty bright. Uh, with the incident that happened with all the, the uh, great stuff coming out of the can. I didn't really have time to put sticks down. I wanted to put some sticks on here. 
but it's too late to put them on now. It's not going to look natural if I just lay them on top, but I might do something. And also, these guys hanging out right here uh, don't really like this. So maybe we'll really spray paint those black as black can be. Um, don't know. But I am pretty happy with this. And honestly, you can't really see it. I mean, this would be the side view. And this would be the front view. I know you can't really see it, though. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the shape. So I don't think I'm going to do too much. I don't like the gloss up here. So I gotta, I gotta figure out something with that. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might, I don't know. You know what, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll spray paint it with some flat black. But this is the progress so far. I made a lot of progress today considering I got great stuff all over my shins and all over my garage door and my garage floor. So we made some progress. More to come. I should have this finished up by the end of the week. Today is Tuesday. And I should have it finished up by the end of the week, but it would be really nice to get it done tomorrow. I just have to put some more coats of paint on it. We're going to dry brush it, put some moss and leaves and all kinds of stuff on here. So it's going to come out hopefully as good as possible. Uh, I also still need to drill a hole in the back to run all the cords and make sure the mechanism is correct, which is going to be the hardest part. So we'll, uh, we're going to wrap it up tonight and we'll see what tomorrow brings. We'll see you then. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Halloween Hotel. And uh, I just want to let you know that I um, just did the last part of this to get this thing to where I wanted it to be. And um, I didn't put it on video. So I hit picture. So I took a picture of me um, trying to do it, but didn't realize that I uh, didn't make a video. So uh, this is what you get. This is the final product. Uh, I'm done messing with it. And uh, what I did since the last video is I just painted up. I dry brushed the pot. And um, I put the motor mechanism inside, the wiper motor. And I just have a, I just have a PVC pipe in there for right now, just to illustrate how it's going to move. Uh, the last part before I make the actual witch for the cauldron is going to be trying to figure out how to make this PVC pipe into something that looks like a stick. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I bought a pool noodle, so I'm going to slide a pool noodle over it, and then I'm going to hit it with a heat gun and um, probably a foam cutter to see what I can do with that, and then maybe monster run it. If that don't work, then I'm going to take another pool noodle, I'll cut it into strips and kind of uh, run the strips along the side, hot gluing it, and then I'll monster mud it. Uh, but I don't want to make it too thick. Uh, I feel pretty confident that a pool noodle is going to make it entirely too thick. But I don't know, we'll see. That's going to be the final step. I'm, I'm probably not going to video that. I'll probably make that when I'm making the, the cauldron, or the uh, actual witch that sits at the cauldron. So, um, so here it is, we'll get a little close up of it. You can see I went and got some of these... Uh, the floral stuff from the Dollar Tree I hot glued that on and I uh, I put a little bit of orange right here on the coals it's not gonna make a difference it's gonna be nighttime but I just wanted to put it on there to see if it make a difference and I just dry brushed it green um, and then on the inside this is the mechanism on the inside for right now let me turn the lights up so here's my mechanism you see I got a speed controller in here I'm just gonna turn it down We'll make it go real slow here. Uh, but yeah, all PVC. I uh, I took the piece right here, this piece right here that comes with Monster Guts, uh, the Monster Guts motor it comes with it. Uh, I took it, I I knocked the um, I knocked the, the the ball out of the end, and um, I drilled another hole to put two screws in there to make it pretty stiff, and then just joined all this together, made some measurements. It is rubbing a little bit here not too concerned it's barely rubbing so it's not gonna make a difference it'll eventually wear a hole before it does anything so um, yeah so this is it this is the final product I think this is gonna go really well with the witches cottage I'm pretty happy with the outcome like I said I've never uh, done paper mache to this category or this degree before so I'm kinda happy with it and like I always say with Halloween everything doesn't have to be perfect this in the nighttime is gonna look great and then when the trick-or-treaters come or uh, when we open up a couple days early, when people come, they're going to appreciate it because they're going to know that, you know, most of my stuff's homemade. I, I do have some stuff um, that isn't homemade, but I would say more than 50% of all my stuff is, is handmade. Only because I bought all my stuff in the beginning because I didn't know how to make crap. So, um, we're getting a little better at it. It's getting, it's getting a little better with this progress with the paper mache and the paper clay and everything. So, I hope you guys like this uh, series, the cauldron series. 
Uh, the next series we're going to have is going to be a good one. I'm probably going to sit down on my next video and just go over the layout of the backyard and some upcoming projects. The next project I'm going to start is going to be one of my, it's going to be one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for, well, probably for about six months now. I have everything I need. I just got to get some plexiglass and I'll explain it in the next video. I'll probably do a sit down in the house or something when all the kids go to bed. But uh, I do have a lot of stuff planned and um, we're going to stay busy. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. And I hope you guys come along with this tour with me for 2019 Halloween. Talk to you guys later.